he had a job to do. We wanted to do it, not left anyone down. We never ever thought we were not going to come back. We survived and we're here to tell our story. The battle raged in Normandy. Many lives were lost. The war must end in victory, and this must be the cost. When my life is over, and I reach the other side, I'll meet my friends from Normandy and shake their hands with pride. As dawn broke on that grey June morning, the greatest armada of ships the world has ever seen filled the narrow waters of the English Channel. Well, it happens to be a bit rough. There's a lot of dead people about. We realised then it was no longer an exercise. In D-Day itself, the weather was so bad in the sea conditions, and I thought about the troops sitting in the landing craft, but thinking about them just sitting in there, going across in those rough conditions, a horrible feeling. Against withering fire from well-concealed German emplacements, only the highest courage and determination could avail. I never give, give it a thought. All I was concerned is keeping my head down and obeying the orders. You had a sergeant or with you and a, an officer, yeah. and, and if they say she jump, you jumped. I mean, you couldn't please yourself. Everybody says we were nervous, but we were young. We ne we'd, we never ever thought we were not going to come back. But no, we there was. No, we're not nervous, but having known now what the results of the losses that we had, I mean, as I think most people realise now that there was a, I think there was a hundred and hundred and ten thousand uh, bomber crews trained to to fly, operational, and fifty thousand of those never came back. Parachutists and airborne troops had done their work well. The much vaunted Atlantic Wall was cracked, and through the crack poured our main assault forces to fight their way in. I'll never forget the people I met, braving those angry scars. It was exciting. I think mostly it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily fun, but it was exciting. On that first landing, we hadn't seen any enemy. We did, we did later on that night, but uh, at that particular point, um, it, we were landing in a foreign country and uh, everything was, was new and exciting. I sometimes hear them say, thumbs up. Just you wait 
It was a different world then. Uh, it, it, it was a world that required young men like myself to, to be prepared to die for, for a civilization that was worth living in. So there was a very heavy necessity for, for young men like me to, to say, I'll, I'll put my life on the line. My life wasn't on the line today. And uh, I, I jumped because I believed that God wanted me to jump. None of them wanted to be part of another war. But when the test came, when freedom had to be fought for or abandoned, they fought. They were soldiers of democracy. They were the men of D-Day, and to them we owe our freedom. We appreciate very much the, what the country thinks about what we did. But my contribution was very, very small. We all thought, you know, we'd done our training, we had a job to do. We wanted to do it, not let anyone down, and we hoped to come out in one piece. You're really think of it often in your life, you know, and probably in your darker moments when you're in bed or something, that's when you do these things as you get older, you do a lot of thinking in bed really, you know, but you do think of it, but it's so worthwhile to come here, it's like a, a promise almost to them, you know, it's almost like that, yeah. yeah. We're here, we survived and we're here to tell our story. And there's lads that came with us, still 18 and 19 and 20, and they're lying in the ground over there. Sometimes I wonder who picks the ones to die and who picks the ones to survive. So I feel very privileged and fortunate to, to think that I'm, I'm and those lads. Are. So what we should do now is, is remember them My most abiding memory of that day is of seeing our boys. We'd been talking to them minutes before, but they were cut down with machine gun fire. It was pretty bad at that time. They fall into the water, floating face down, and we couldn't get them out. We couldn't get, we couldn't help them. And that is my most abiding memory, and I can't forget it. Thank you for listening. <laughs>